Have you ever wondered why Mercury and Venus, the two innermost planets of our solar system, lack natural moons? It's a curious fact, isn't it? Well, it's not a random occurrence, but rather the result of a fascinating interplay of various forces and conditions in our solar system. Mercury and Venus, being the closest planets to the Sun, experience its strong gravitational influence. This proximity to the Sun creates powerful tidal forces that can disrupt the formation and stability of moons. Simply put, the Sun's gravitational pull is so dominant that it becomes challenging for moons to maintain stable orbits around these planets. Now it's worth noting how moons typically form. They come into being through the process of accretion, where smaller objects in the protoplanetary disk surrounding a planet clump together. However, the close proximity of Mercury and Venus to the Sun likely made it difficult for these smaller bodies to accrete into moons. The disruptive tidal forces and the higher temperatures close to the Sun would have been quite an obstacle. The story doesn't end there. The Sun's gravitational influence doesn't just affect the formation of moons but also their stability. The Sun's pull can cause perturbations in the orbits of potential moons, making it difficult for them to maintain a stable trajectory over extended periods. Consider the Roche limit, which is the minimum distance at which a celestial body, held together only by its gravity, will disintegrate due to tidal forces exceeding the body's gravitational self-attraction. The close proximity of Mercury and Venus to the Sun means that any potential moons would be subject to these strong tidal forces possibly pushing them beyond their roach limits and preventing moon formation. Last but not least, during the early stages of the solar system, dynamic interactions and gravitational perturbations may have played a role in destabilizing any initial moons that could have formed around Mercury and Venus. These forces could have led to their ejections or collisions, preventing the retention of natural satellites. So, to sum it all up, the absence of moons around Mercury and Venus is a result of a combination of gravitational, tidal, and formation challenges arising from their close proximity to the Sun. These factors have created conditions that make it difficult for these planets to host natural satellites. It's a fascinating insight into the workings of our solar system, isn't it?